Hi, I'm Joey Roger, and this is Get to Know Jesus in Five Minutes. How are you guys doing today? It's Saturday. It's a beautiful day. Today's subject is Look Up Child. When we say that word, just saying that within three words, look up child, what I mean by that is look up to, to Jesus. Everybody has storms and everybody has a lot going on in life. I do as well. And I just want you to know that Jesus is there. Jesus loves us. God is there. The Father, the Holy Spirit, the angels of heaven. We have a lot of resources that can help us get through the storms of life. It's amazing what happens when we're down. The enemy, which will be Satan, he comes through and kicks you when you're down. And that's when he loves to come to turn the pressure up or turn the heat up, if you will. And that's exactly what he does. And I want you to read in 2 Samuel 16, 2 Samuel 16, read that whole chapter, but especially verses 7, 8, and 9. And you'll get a glimpse of what happens when you're down. A quick, get a quick backdrop. David, King David is on the run from Jerusalem. He has his enemies after him. And this one guy is just giving him the business and it say, even says cursing him. And from there, he is feeling the guilt, the shame, the burdens. He's feeling everything. Read the story. It's a good one. I don't want to go into a long video. I just want you to read 2, uh, two Samuel 16. With that being said, how about he pins Psalm 42 and Psalm 43 while he's going through that. And you'll see one in, in both Psalm 42 and 43, you'll see one verse three times. Two of those verses he says in my presence and the final verse he says in his presence. So look up child, you got to attack back when you're in the storms and I know a lot of us have a, we've gone through a lot and we may be going through some stuff now I know some of you are I, I do as well but you've got to tap back you tap back with the word of God you attack back by getting into the presence of the Lord and, and this is where you got to change your atmosphere because when life gets where you just cannot handle it you're tired you're worn out you beat down you just really want to just give up and say the heck with it. That's when you change the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Turn some worship some music on. Read the Bible. I told you before. Run to the Bible. Get the let the good words of God give you the peace and comfort that will calm your soul and calm your spirit. Speaking of that, a lot of times your soul is in, in control. That's your mind, your will, and emotions, and your spirit is starved. So when you change, get things changed around and put some worship music on, read these words out of this book called the Bible, what you'll find is your spirit will tell your soul to get in check. That's why we read the Bible. It's not, I told you, it's a spiritual book written by a spiritual God to spiritual beings. And that's exactly what it is. And that's what it's used for. And it'll help you. But just know you're not alone. Jesus went into the wilderness. He had to fight Satan and his enemies. But who was with him? Jesus and the angels and God the Father and the Holy Spirit. So you've got an army at your defense and ready to help you. But you've got to take that initial step and just step out in faith and do it. Otherwise, while you're down, Satan's going to come around. He's just going to kick you while you're down and try to kick you off the planet, if you know what I mean. That's where the depression and the, and, the, and the suicidal thoughts come and all that good stuff comes. You've got to tap back and lick up child. And that's actually a song by Lauren Daigle. Google it or YouTube it. It's great. You'll enjoy it. My two little girls sing it and I enjoy it because that's exactly what we need to do when the enemy comes around. You get into attack mode 
and you handle him. And I'll leave you with the last verse. It's in uh, Jude uh, 3, 2. And guess what this says? You just tell him, Satan, I rebuke you. That's all you got to say. Satan, I rebuke you. And the reason why I tell you that is because that puts him in check because the Lord told him the same thing. And you'll see that in that verse, and I'll have it in the comments for you. That's it. Have a great Saturday. I'll see you on the next one. God bless you. Like, subscribe, get it out. And I really, really appreciate the, uh, the support. Thank you.